Thank you to Instagram viewer Kendall for giving me an excuse to talk about movies and Michigan. Buckle up, because we'll be spanning 60 plus years of film history in this Michigan moment. When the musical This Time for Keeps was shot on Mackinac Island in 1946, it was the first Hollywood production set and shot in Michigan. Featuring the Grand Hotel as a primary location, many of the interior shots were done on a soundstage back in LA. Only in the exterior shots are where the familiar landmarks will be seen. On the soundtrack, you'll find When It's Lilac Time on Mackinac Island, written by Leslie Kirk. And for all those who are wondering, it's June. Then, in 1951, Hollywood went to the Upper Peninsula to adapt the 1958 novel, Anatomy of a Murder, written by Michigan Supreme Court Justice John D. Volker, under the pen name Robert Traver. The book was based on a true case of a homicide that occurred in Big Bay, Michigan on July 31, 1952. Like the film directed by Otto Priminger, the plot follows the case's court proceedings and became a classic in the genre, winning seven Academy Awards. The film was shot on location in Big Bay, Marquette, Ishpeming, and Michigami, Michigan, and held its premiere at the United Artists Theater in Detroit on July 1st, 1959. In the 80s, Somewhere in Time took Hollywood back to Mackinac Island, where a man falls in love with a woman and travels back in time to be with her. Set again at the Grand Hotel, there is a notable production flow where there's a modern water tower that can be seen in the shot. Directors are key creatives who drive films to their end result, and Michigan has produced some iconic directors, such as Royal Oak native Sam Raimi, director of The Evil Dead, which featured MSU students having a horrifying experience at a cabin. Highly recommended. Eddie Murphy stars as Detroit Police Department detective Axel Foley in Michigan-born Jerry Bruckheimer's Beverly Hills Cop. Filmmaking maestro Francis Ford Coppola was also born in Detroit, as well as B-movie king Roger Corman, and screenwriting Olympian Paul Schrader lived in Grand Rapids. In 2008, Michigan was the epicenter of a major globalist labor shift, and as the auto industry outsourced, Michigan looked to bring a new industry to the state, filmmaking. Which also brings us to Michael Moore's Roger and in this film, Michael Moore takes on Flint's decline, asking the big questions that have had such a devastating impact on his community. Michigan passed a tax incentive in 2008 to encourage the film industry to grow in Detroit and throughout Michigan. During the period of the filmmaking incentive, several films began to be produced here in Michigan. Unfortunately, we weren't the only state doing it, and though we were the number one incentive in the U.S., legislators abandoned it to avoid a bidding war over the industry. Countless films are set in Detroit, including 8 Mile, Robocop, Gran Torino, I, Tanya, Ford vs. Ferrari, Hoffa, The Irishman, Real Steel, Only Lovers Left Alive, The Crow, Detroit Rock City, and White Boy Rick, to name just a few, not to mention Ann Arbor's significance to the film industry. Some of my favorite references to Michigan appear in Lawrence Kasdan's 1983 film, The Big Chill. Being set around a group of U of M alumni, a scene depicts the Michigan versus Michigan State football game on television. I'll end with a classic reference in Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest. An announcement states, a train is heading from Chicago's LaSalle Street Station to Detroit, including stops in Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Marshall, Albion, Jackson, Ann Arbor, and Ypsilanti. I hope you enjoyed this trip through film history. Whatever Hollywood's fascination with Michigan is, I welcome the references to my home state on the big screen. We'll see you in the next Michigan Moment.